Hi, and welcome to Wrong Way. And even though both of those devices have just one wheel, riding those two couldn't be any more different. So, let me tell you more about it. Wrong Way. All right, so probably for you guys watching the channel, you know that uh, unicycles, pedal unicycles, analog unicycles are very different from the ones we're using, the electric unicycles. But every day uh, when I ride my UC, um, I get a stare and then I get a comment, I'd kill myself on this. And then I thought, well, maybe there's a reason for that. Well, of course, I'm riding on one wheel and uh, I'm fully geared up and you know, it's just not a natural sight to behold. But maybe it's also because there's a faint memory of uh, childhood, I know, circus. You think about those, you think about circus, that uh, riding this is very difficult, but actually it's not. And it's very different from the pedal unicycle, which I'm about to show you in this video. Let's start out with uh, the obvious, and it's really funny for me to compare those two devices. As said, they couldn't be any more different. They have one wheel in common, some sort of pedals and, and a seat. Uh, but mainly, if you look at the EUC, you can't, like, you can't let it fall. Like with this, this is wibbly wobbly. Like I leave this and pretty much nothing happens. It can fall to the sides. It can fall to the front or the back. And with this, it's a bit different. All of the things that you need to do on this with your brain, your muscles and your experience, here the machine just does for you. <laughs> All right, so let me really quickly demonstrate how different it is to ride on those things. So let me just put this down real quick. With the pedal unicycle, and I'm not a pro by any means, and there's amazing unicyclists all over the planet. Uh, Ed Pratt did a world tour uh, on, a, on a unicycle. There's Mimo Ziedler, amazing unicycle rider. Follow those guys. I'm nowhere near what they are doing, but I know how to ride. So when you want to ride a pedal unicycle, you have to start out in sort of this position, and then the, the, the pedal unicycle will go back, and you sort of start leaning in the front. So let's try that real quick. So I'm riding. I'll turn around, Liam, no worries. And then if I want to turn, I'm not the best at it. Whoa, there's ice. <laughs> but somehow I can sustain myself riding on the pedal unicycle. The, pr the big problem also is that when I'm riding, I'm constantly, oh no, ice. I'm constantly switching my balance. So one of my legs, or I mean, both of my legs are moving, shifting my balance constantly. So whew, riding this thing takes a, takes a lot of effort. And then if you want to accelerate or brake, it's a combination of a mind game and also muscle game. So it took me a really long time to just learn how to ride a lot of a longer time than on this. So let me show that again real quick. It's not easy. And I need to be really careful also about the seat. Move this hand. All right, let's go. So, so I guess that's the uh, pedal unicycle for you. I was mostly standing up. I didn't put all of my weight here because uh, my private parts weren't optimally seated. But now I'll show you how it works on the EUC. And as I said, probably most of you guys know about it, but just like playing compared next to one another, it's, it's no effort at all pretty much once you know it. So when it comes to accelerating on EUC, you don't need to pedal harder. You don't need to you know, have a muscle memory of what to do when you do this and your balance constantly shifts be because you're pedaling. You're not cycling, you're sort of motorcycling, I know. So if you want to accelerate then, I'll just go here. The only thing you need to do is lean forward. And if you want to brake, the only thing you need to do is lean back. Super simple. If you want to turn, you can do it either way with twisting your hips when you go really so, like this. 
and I'm doing it really carefully here because there's ice. Or the other method is just to lean with your body and your body is not shifting, we're not pedaling, and turn. So yeah, it's, it couldn't be any more different than the pedal unicycle. So I guess this video is just to show you that those devices are very far apart. Their learning curve is really different. And at the same time, this, the things you can learn on the EUC, in my opinion, will be a lot more than on the pedal unicycle. So a lot of people that ride unicycles already have the skill of balance and what to do. They have the gyroscope in their head, sort of. They can ride EUCs. But the other way around, to transition from EUC to unicycle, is a lot more difficult and very few people do that. I can do easily curbs, stairs, jumps, heavy inclines, all, all the kind of stuff on the uh, electric unicycle, but on the unicycle, I'm still limited and I'm still very happy if I can just ride for five kilometers. So probably I, will be, I would be a lot better if I put more effort into training the pedal unicycle. Those devices are very different even though they might, might look similar. So, if you're still here, leave a like on the video, subscribe to see more content like this, and I will ride the pedal unicycle again, just because I want to flex. <laughs> Let's go. Ooh.